Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to review some 124 scale. Um, we have quite a few to go over so we're going to jump right into it. First vehicle up is going to be from the Jada, the Metals Diecast, Deadpool Taco Truck. This was a pretty cool one to find. Um, I actually got uh, some insight on this vehicle there from uh, Race Grooves channel. So I had to go on the hunt to find it. It's a pretty cool vehicle. Um, it's going to stay in the package but it's um, basically a metal die cast, so it's going to have some plastic stuff in it as well as um, it's mostly metal. Rubber tires. Um, this one here also features the, uh, the character at the back. And it's just really nicely detailed. Um, so you can see there it gives you the, the menu. Apparently the only thing on it is tacos. But this door here slides open. Um, this piece here opens up. As well as the sunroofs they open up and it actually features a full um, like kitchen you can see there so it's just really nicely detailed um, if you like Deadpool and if you like die cast pretty sweet combination here I was pretty uh, pretty happy that I was able to find this um, they're a little pricey so I don't, I'm probably gonna leave this one in the box um, and just display it as it is instead of taking it out uh, just to protect it, but um, really nice detailing. Um, it's pretty cool with the, the diamond plating here. Um, and just the attention to detail with these is just really, really nice. Um, so if you're looking for these, um, they are out there. Um, but they're going to be at a hobby store only. So you're not going to find this um, at the Walmart or Toys R Us. These are exclusive um, to the hobby store. So if you're, like I say, if you're looking for them. Get out there and get hunting, but this is a pretty cool casting. Up next from Jada, same line. This one here is the Big Time Muscle, and it's going to be the 1955 Chevy Bel Air. So you can see here, it's got Mike's auto body on it. Um, pretty cool car. Um, all metal body, rubber tires, um, opening features, trunk lid, doors, hood, as you can see. Um, just great attention to detail um, in these larger castings as well as in the engine bay. A little hard to see in the packaging, but detailed interior. But if you like the old classic cars, this is the first one I saw um, of this son at uh, Walmart actually. So, um, but pretty cool, pretty cool vehicle in their lineup here. Um, love the Bel Air, so that's always cool to find. And it lists them all in the back here. So it runs down all the vehicles here. Oddly enough, um, I don't know if they just don't put this particular vehicle on there because it is the one in the packaging, but I looked through all of them and I couldn't find um, this one, um, like this particular car here, on any of the boxes. Um, so it was a little odd, but... And um, these are a new release. So these are going to be probably 2017 or 2018. Um, yeah, 2018. So, but if you're looking for these, they're hitting the hitting the WalMarts now. Pretty cool. You can even see it's got a bit the stereo and the amp, or sorry, the speaker and the amps in the back there. Just a all around nice casting. I've always liked the Jada stuff from the old and even the new stuff. I, I love it all. This one here is also a Jada. It's their JDM Tuner series. So this one here is going to be the 2002 Honda NSX Type R Japan Spec Wide Body. So I don't collect a ton of um, the imports, but uh, this one here kind of caught my eye. It was uh, pretty interesting casting, and it was very well detailed um, all the way down to the tires with the Bridgestone. Um, you can see the engine compartment on this one at the back. Pretty cool little vehicle here. Really good attention to detail. I don't know too much about this particular vehicle, to be quite honest. But like I say, I'm not really huge into the import scene. I like more of the muscle car. But on this one here, it was pretty cool. And then again, there's opening features. So um, this one has the the doors, the hood. I don't know that the trunk opens. Now it's all one piece. So just the the doors and the uh, the front hood on this one here. 
this window actually might, uh, I think it might open for the engine bay. But if you're looking for these, they've been out for a little while now. I passed over it a couple times, but I thought, nah, I'm going to pick it up. Gives you all of them on the back again. So if you're looking for anything in the import lineup, it's all here. Now, most of these I haven't been able to, to find. Like the Datsun, this one here is uh, is pretty cool. Um, but that'd probably be the only real one that I'd want out of all of these. The Skyline's all right, too. But these are going to be, I think these are probably 2017, might be 2018. Um, can't quite see it there. 2017 or 2018 release, anyway. They're, they're, they're pretty new. So... If you like this model or looking at it, these uh, were available. I found at Toys R Us. Walmart did carry them, but uh, they haven't had them in for a while now. So the last one from uh, Jada is their Just Trucks, 1955 Chevy Stepside. So this one here, I've got a couple of these. The castings don't really change. They normally just change the tampo work. But it's kind of in a flat red. It says Step Aside Automotive. So. Good attention to detail the interior. You can see the chrome steering wheel and the chrome column. White wall tires. Um, the box, uh, like the tailgate on this opens up. The doors, the hood. Um, good attention to detail. This one even comes with the little um, spare tire rack here. And these screwdrivers. So you can actually change out these wheels if you want to change them to those. If you don't like the white walls. So, pretty neat little casting. Um, like I said before, I like... Love trucks, so anything to do with a custom truck, I pretty much get if I can. Um, especially when it's uh, manufactured by Jada. They make uh, really nice stuff. I wish they would make um, some of the 80s era. The, they've only been really producing a lot of the older stuff, but the 80s era trucks would be nice to see in the, the 124 scale. Now, they have made 80s eras, but not, not recently. And you can see on the back here, um, the other vehicles that are in the lineup, um, this one here, the COE is pretty cool. Um, I do have that in all black. I have yet to see it in the brown. Um, you got the Bronco, which that would be pretty cool to have too. And then you got your F-150 Raptor and your Jeep Wrangler. And they all come with the, uh, the tire racks with different tires that you can put on. These are, this is probably a 2018, I would assume. I haven't seen this one in storage yet, so yeah, 2018 release. So this is this is brand new. Um, again, if you're looking for these, you can find them at uh, Walmart. And up next, we have um, the Fast and Furious. So 124 scale, 1993 Toyota Supra, and it includes a character, which is Slapjack. So this manufacturer, I actually haven't heard of. We'll scoot over to that first here. Um, RC oh, Ertl, maybe? I don't know what RC Ertl is, but um, that could be um, what they're referring to there. But anyway, that's who makes this. Um, very nice casting here. Um, I've seen a couple of these. I was lucky enough to actually to just pick these up tonight, So and they were really cheap for what they are. So... If you like the older Fast and Furious stuff, um, they feature opening uh, trunk, doors, hood, and then you get the figurine, which is pretty cool. Hard to see in the package. I'm going to be leaving them in there just because I got uh, way too many, but you can see the detail even in the seats. It's got the big racing seats in there, and the steering wheel. Everything is just detailed to the nines on these. It's, it's really nice. A little bit of information on the back if you want to pause on this. And these are from 2003. So very first release movie, obviously. But um, pretty cool um, casting here. And you're lucky to find them for the price that I paid for it. Our right, next one up is really the, the main one that I wanted. Um, but the price was too good to pass up the other one. Uh, so 124 scale die cast, again, 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer. And this features Brian O'Connor. So we all know with his uh, tragic accident, 
that a lot of his uh, stuff has come a little bit, uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe more collectible, you could say. I really like these movies anyway. I would collect them no matter what. Um, but it can't go wrong with uh, picking one of these up. So, again, nicely detailed. It's got all the all the logos they can possibly get on there. Nice detail work in the vehicle interior. Got the big wing on the back, which the trunklet opens. Um, hood opens. Doesn't look like the door is open on this one, but hood and trunk should open. And then you got the uh, character here. And then just some information on the back here. If anyone wants to pause on it. So these are made by Ertl, um, which they make. I've showed Ertl stuff on here. They make very, very good castings. I've never seen it say the RC, but uh, maybe that's just something I'm not familiar with. But um, I looked them up quick. These are um, definitely made by Ertl. So you know you're getting a very well made die cast if it's made by Ertl. All right, we have some more 124 scale, but we're going to stick this one kind of in the middle here. Um, this is the Canadian Tire 75th anniversary set from Matchbox. So it's a six car die cast vehicles inside. So it's a pretty cool set. Obviously I'm from Canada, so I enjoy um, finding these sets here. Um, it gives you a little blurb here um, and it shows you kind of, you know, what stuff looked like back in the day. Um, and then as well as the vehicles. So these here, the top row is basically, they're all the same vehicles, but if you look closely, the logos are what's different. So it just kind of shows you the the different logos um, corresponding to different things. Then you got the, of course, their brand Mastercraft, the 75th anniversary logo on that one. And then you got the Moto Master. So these are actually uh, all metal and rubber tires in this set. So it's pretty cool to see. Um, I've been looking for it for a while, but a lot of people have been asking crazy amounts of money for them. So there's a little blurb if you want to pause on that. But um, I found this one for, I don't know, I think it was about 20 bucks for the set. So six die cast cars plus the casings in pretty good shape. Um, I think that's not uh, a bad deal at all for what I got. But if you're looking for these, um, they are around. They're pretty popular actually. I must have sold quite a bit of them. Um, and then there's a little more in the back. I've come across them quite a bit, but I've had people that are asking, you know, a couple hundred dollars and stuff for them, which is just, they're definitely not worth that. And uh, obviously they're 1997, because that's when their 75th anniversary was. So if you're looking for anything like this, um, they are out there. I um, just thought I'd share that with you if there's something that you're interested in. All right, up next, um, this one here is a Jada as well. A little bit older, uh, must be the early 2000s. Nissan Skyline GTR R32. So this one has actually never been opened out of the package. It's still factory sealed with um, even their tape on it. It's gonna stay in the package for now. Um, but this one being black, it is kind of hard to see all the detailing. The camera's probably making it difficult to see, but very well detailed, just like all the rest of their castings. Um, tail lights, I mean, you got light plate exhaust. Fully done interior, again, all black. You can see that the, the steering wheel's on the opposite side. Um, so Japan specs, but nicely chromed engine. Just a great attention to detail on these. You can see the big chrome uh, intercooler there. Completely chromed out engine lights. Just a real nice casting. Um, the initial D stuff, I personally haven't come across too much. Um, like I say, I'm not a huge into imports, but the price was right for this, so I picked it up. Um, but there are a few other ones. There was another one I passed on it. I only took this one. Um, and that would have been, that was the, uh, which one, uh, this white one here, the Mazda RX-7 was there as well. So a little bit of blurb on here if you want to pause on anything. And then uh, if you want to see the 
These are 2004. So, um, like I say, I personally, I mean, I've been collecting for a while and I collect 124 scales. I've never seen this, so I haven't looked up too much. Haven't been able to find a lot on them, but I personally haven't seen these. So, um, I was picked up the one, but I didn't want to go too crazy and pick up all of them that he had. But I did notice um, when I went back to the vendor that the other one was gone. So, um, someone must have definitely been interested in it. Right, up next, 124 scale as well, different manufacturer here. Um, this is going to be the Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legra, something like that. But um, pretty cool casting here. Um, if you like the exotics, this was on a clearance item is why I got it. So it was pretty inexpensive. We'll probably actually, maybe we'll crack this one open just so we can see a little closer. I know there's a lot of people out there that do like the exotics, so we'll see if we can get closer up. Uh, apparently it hasn't been open yet, so maybe we'll reveal it at a different date. Or if someone else, uh, if someone wants to leave a comment below that they want to uh, see this other package, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll open it up. Um, this was a fairly inexpensive vehicle, so we'll, uh, we'll open up. But it does feature uh, opening doors and opening, um, opening rear uh, hatch here where the... The motor is but you can see the detailing it says Lamborghini right on there uh, for something that's fairly inexpensive it's pretty good detailing I mean this thing going to compare it to the Lamborghini you know models that are $200 or plus I mean you can go up to thousands of dollars for these models but for something nice to display I mean it's 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 pretty nice but um, let's see if we can get you see the interior, like it's kind of, you got to tell it's kind of plastic looking. I mean, it's, it is what it is, but I mean, you're, you're in the, you're not even in the $20 price range for this vehicle. So, and it's 124 scale, the full body is die cast plastic base and they do have rubber tires. So for what you're getting, um, and the price, I mean, you, I don't think you can go wrong. It's even on a display board. So once you take it out, it just stays right on this, it has the vehicle name there and can't go wrong. So, I can say if you want to see it out of the package, just uh, just leave a comment below and we'll crack that open. All right, so we have here the Mesto 118 Scale Special Edition. Um, there's quite a few of these hitting now. Um, this is a Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0. Um, very nicely detailed uh, vehicles as they always are. All metal um, body, rubber tires, they are a plastic base, but they're also on display board like the previous one. And they're just real nice detail on these. Um, even in the interior, nicely detailed from the seats. A little hard to see on the camera here, but um, you can see the color on the seats there. The, the orange, or sorry, they're um, actually red. Actually red in there. But um, um, features the opening hood in the front, opening doors. And then obviously the engines in the back, which that does open up. Headlights, tail lights, just real nice attention to detail on these. Um, let's see if we can get a lighting's not really cooperating here, but it gives you kind of an overview of what you can get. Um, these are were available at Costco. They typically are this time of the year, um, pretty much right up till Christmas, but they will sell out. And they had pretty much every exotic car that you could think of there in the like 20 buck range for 118 scale you're not going to find that anywhere um i picked this one up i like porsches it's the same color as my uh, s10 blazer that i have um so it was perfect for my collection um it's going to stay in the box though um, like i say just don't have room for it so but very cool vehicle if you're out there hunting or if you like exotics um you can hit up uh, Costco's for those. A um, little bit of information on the back here. Just basically what it has. Adjustable uh, opening doors, adjustable front wheels, uh, workable steering, which is pretty cool on a $20 model. Um, independent spring suspension for the wheels. So it actually has suspension, which again, price point, you're never going to find it. Um, but, and you can see it does state that some models may not have those features, but um, I could tell that this one in the box, that the wheels sit weird. Um, so probably when it's out of the box and it has the weight on it, it would have the suspension. And then here's all the 
manufacturers they had, which they had every one of these. They must have just stocked it when I went there. So they had every manufacturer that you see on here. Which is pretty cool. So wide variety, but like I say, these will sell out real quick. Um, I know last year I passed, I waited on some uh, Ferraris and stuff and they, they were gone. Like I went back a week later and they were gone. Um, people will buy these up in mass quantities just because you can't buy this anywhere with these features in this price range. So if you're like uh, the exotics, um, hit up Costco's if you got a membership. Up oh, next is just uh, kind of a fun vehicle. It's not even die cast, but it is a truck and it is firefighters, which is pretty cool. So it is obviously the M&M's. Um, you can see that it has working parts to spit out the M&M's. Cool characters on the box. We're going to crack this open. We'll take a closer look at it. But it does show you on the back what it does. So you can see that the characters on the back pull up. Candies come out the bottom. So pretty neat uh, little, not a casting, I guess, but uh, plastic, I guess. I'm not a huge collector of the plastic stuff, but uh, it was a truck and it was firefighters. So I thought, what the heck, we'll, we'll pick it up. And it was rather inexpensive. So we'll crack this open and we'll take a closer. All right, so we got it out of the box there just so you can have a closer look at it. It's pretty cool. Um, it actually came with the candies. Um, I don't know if I've eaten those. This is from 2007. But um, pretty cool little um, little truck here. So features the m and Fire Department. It's good detail on it. Um, not going to open all the way up. It is all uh, strapped in. But uh, just to show you the detail, if you're... This is something fun to collect when you're out and about when you find stuff. This is the little lever actually that pushes down. So you push it down and then the M&Ms actually come out the uh, out the back there. And you can, so you could just set that up, you know, a little kit or something. You can get that for them and put on their dresser and they can get M&Ms anytime they want. But uh, pretty cool casting. Um, it's got the little guy in the back. It's got the one guy in the uh, driver's seat there. So if you collect M&M stuff or just like collecting collectible stuff in general, um, this is a pretty fun piece just to have. Um, like I say, it was it was pretty inexpensive. It's all it's all plastic, so it's it's not really worth anything. But I'm sure there's collectors of M&M and m and stuff out there. I'm sure. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed this video. If you like 124 scale, this is a pretty good video for that. Lots of variety here. Um, if you like the 124 scales, I have a ton more. So if you want to leave a comment below, we can review uh, a bunch more um, in various manufacturers. Um, a couple other cool items we threw in there, but uh, we got a couple more videos to go. We still got to get to the Hot Wheels uh, mystery vehicles. A uh, couple uh, other Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightning. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.